Hi, I'm Vilkan and today I will show you how to make a simple cyberpunk style scene with a holographic screen. I wanted to test the new RGB lights that I got from Pixel, so I thought that I can make something that can be useful for you too. I've made a quick scene as an example, so go check it out first and then I will break down the lighting and VFX. Hope you liked it. It's not perfect, but it's enough to show you guys the process. I've used a similar technique in my old short film Hack the System, so you can also check it out if you haven't seen it already. First, I will show you what lights I've used, but remember that you can use whatever lights you have, you just need to be creative. For lighting the background and screen, I've used Pixel P80. It's a powerful RGB panel, so I've used only 10 to 20% of power. I wanted to make this scene moody, so it was enough for me. I like that not only you can change color temperature, but also tint, which can help with matching to other lights. Overall, it's a very capable and powerful RGB light for a good price that I can recommend. I shot in a small room, so that made things harder for me, because I couldn't hide the light out of the shot, like I did in Hack the System. So if you want to make it easier, just frame it in a way to put the light out of the shot. First I've put one panel as a backlight set to pink color. Then I added two small LED panels set to green to add some interest and color contrast to the background. I also put my monitor there with some animation playing. Because of the form factor of those LED panels I could fit them in my tight room behind the desk. I would not be able to fit a big softbox there. Those panels already have a nice diffusion on them, but to make it even softer I put a piece of diffusion material inside. For a close up I've moved the light a little bit closer to make the face look better. I also added one more diffusion layer. I was controlling the main light with a phone app to turn it on and off, which is very handy in situations like this. In Hack the System we had to manually control the light. Finally I added a fog to make the whole scene look better. To make things easier I shot everything on a tripod without any movements so we would not have to do any tracking. I shot some empty frames, remembering that the screen should affect the background in a specific way. That's why we light up the wall here, to make it more realistic. So let's check the whole lighting process. Now let's break down the VFX. Don't worry, we will not have to use Fusion, After Effects or any other software like that. I've used only Edit and Color page in Resolve and you can use whatever you have. I will start with the most important things and then tell you some details to make it better. So the first layer above the main footage is an empty frame, masked out. Here is the overlay that I download from a free stock footage site. I set the proper size and perspective with a transform and set overlay method to add. To make the screen shine more, I added a soft mask over it, with a glow effect, set with a low threshold and screen as a composite type. In my example, the hand should be in front of the screen covering it, so I've used a magic mask to do that. With a close-up, I added a small detail that might not be even noticeable but it gives more realism. I made a power window with added gamma and I did some keyframes to animate it. So it's the effect of touching the screen which gives a nice result with sound effects. To bring everything together I added some final touches. Footage shot with a lens always have some imperfections. That's why I use some filters like vignette, bloom or film grain to make VFX match better. Let me know if you would like to see a separate video about that. Because my shots were static I combined layers and added some subtle movement to some of them. It also helps to sell the effect. So I hope you learned something from this video. 
topics like this are not very popular, so if you like to see more videos like this, then make sure to show your support with likes and comments. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.